What is up, my chemistry people? Who is ready to keep going with voltaic cells? Great news for you, because that's what we're going to do. Always in the back of our mind, thinking about the redox reaction that's taking place in that voltaic cell. Boom, let's break it down. We're going to explain how the concept of Gibbs free energy change, delta G, relates to the spontaneity or thermodynamic favorability of a redox reaction. And then numero dos, we are going to explain how cell potential and Gibbs free energy change are related and perform calculations involving that relationship. In other words, we're going to do some math. It's going to be thrilling. I mean, numbers and calculators, basically heaven. All right, to start this video off, we're going to talk about my good friend Josiah Willard Gibbs. He formulated a theory to predict whether or not a chemical reaction would be spontaneous based on something called free energy. Now, at this point, all I want you to be able to do is recognize what delta G tells us about the spontaneity or thermodynamically favorability of a redox reaction. There's a lot more to Gibbs free energy that we will talk about in a later unit. But at this point, just take what I'm saying at face value. Never question your teachers. But for real, if you want to look ahead and figure out more about Gibbs free energy, go for it. Know that we'll come back to it later. All that I want you to be able to do is recognize that when you have a negative value for your delta G, it indicates that the reaction is thermodynamically favorable, that the reaction as written is spontaneous, or that two, if you have a positive value for delta G, it indicates that the reaction is thermodynamically unfavorable and that it's not spontaneous as written. So our good friend Josiah came up with the following equation that relates Gibbs free energy to cell potential. And we do know how to figure out cell potential and we are masters of cell potential. And this equation just relates the two. In order to determine Gibbs free energy from the cell potential, you also need to know number of moles transferred in the redox reaction and Faraday's constant, which is 96,500 coulombs per mole per mole of electrons. All of this jazz is on your formula chart. So the math is pretty straightforward here. As you look at this equation, delta G is equal to negative NFE. Can't get enough. Basically, if you have a positive cell potential, because you're multiplying it by this negative, you're gonna get a negative delta G value. And that indicates thermodynamic favorability or spontaneity. So positive cell potential equals negative delta G. Conversely, if your cell potential is negative, because you'll be multiplying it by a negative, you're going to get a positive delta G value. So a negative cell potential results in a positive delta G, which indicates a thermodynamically unfavorable or non-spontaneous reaction. And remember, if you set your voltaic cell up correctly, you should always get a positive cell potential and a negative delta G, because a correctly constructed voltaic cell is a spontaneous redox reaction. All right, and that does it for this video. Have a fantastic day.